this is the order uh, I'm planning on fishing my baits in. Uh, I'm going to start out with this jig here, and uh, and this is a glow bait. Uh, if they're not hitting that, then I'm going to try this jig here, this orange. Uh, I'm going with this because it's a smaller profile and it has a lot of color. It's water stain here. Uh, it's kind of a muddy stain, but uh, what I'm hoping for is uh, for this jig is just I'm only going to go to this jig uh, if I'm not getting any hits at all. If I'm getting hits and I kind of know what the depth is, then I'm, I'm not going to use this. But if I if I uh, don't know what depth that they're hitting or how they actually are, are trying to ambush for the day, I'm going to go with this to try to figure it out because a lot of times the smaller fish will uh, react to this bait and they won't be keepers, but they'll tell you exactly what's going on with the fish and how they're hitting. Uh, if they don't hit that bait, if if once I figure out once I figure out what the, what they're doing with this bait, then I may go to this bait just to uh, to get a better reaction than if I didn't get with this bait. It's a smaller profile, different colors, and uh, and maybe they'll react to this. And then if this is not working, I'm still having trouble. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get a little closer to the natural look and see if they want something natural. And this is a dead river bait. I hope I'm saying that right. And uh, this is a uh, uh, this is their ghost minnow, and it's a really close to live bait. Uh, so I'm gonna try that with scent with shad scent. And and then if I get down to this bait, then I'm in a lot of trouble. But I'm gonna go with this one just to see if uh, if none of all of this other stuff is working. Then I'm gonna try this right here. We're at the uh, Fort Parker State Park. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, that notification button, uh, don't forget to leave comments uh, right now, <laughs> I'm talking way more than I need to, so time to get on this water and get bent, see you on the water. Okay, we're coming up on a spot. Uh it's early, I mean, it's not early in the morning, but I mean, it's, it's before 10, and a lot of times they like to feed near the bank in the morning, so, uh, 
what I'm thinking is, uh, you know, when I see heavy structure near the bank, then uh, uh, I'm going to fish in it. This one's got a pretty good drop off, too. This spot looks interesting. Fish just popped up there. So, look at this, uh, how the fines and everything are running down into the water. And it's got some, uh, it's got a, a, a good drop off right there. The crappie would love that spot. Uh, I'm in about 13 feet of water. I think that's about eight. And we're gonna try half that distance and see what happens. to be about six. I spin the kayak around, I'm gonna, I want to try the back side of that. Go in here. Let's go inside here and see what's going on. To it. guys remember trees like this you work from the outside and then you work your way in hey guys I just want to take a minute to show you how beautiful this river is if you fishing from a kayak I mean you have to put this river on your list of places to go I guess you can catch uh, 
I mean, you can catch crappie, you can catch uh, black bass and sand bass in this river. And I mean, if you like the catfish, you can you can catch catfish. It's a Nada Soto River, and uh, I mean, this is just one beautiful place. And I mean, if the wind is up, you can get out of the wind, and it's it's just easy to fish. Big fat zero. What colors have you used? With the white head, and I just switched to a pinky head with the silver body and a chartreuse tail. It's the uh, stump bug. The one with the, the big flap uh, at the back that you can split the legs, and it's got the blade on it. Yeah, I, I done went to orange, uh, black and chartreuse, uh, that one of those glow uh, jigs, I used that, and I used a pink head and a white head, and uh, I caught one little crappie and, and a bass. And I had one bass jump out of the water and grab my jig, but I didn't catch him. I'm in about, uh, <clears throat> I'm in about 10 feet of water. And it looked like the fish are swimming about three or four feet deep and they're hunting for something to eat right before dark. So one of the things I'm doing is I'm working that jig on the surface of the water. I'm making it make a little ripple on the surface before I sink it. That's just a, a little trick. A lot of times that'll draw in a bass, but uh, you can get a good crappie like that too. But you work the, I don't know if you can see it, but work the surface and then go down with it. Boy, he hit it as soon as it hit the water, too. Dead River Jigs. Dead River Bait Company. I'm gonna swim it uh, along the edge of this brush.
get up. I'm gonna get up close to this spot so you can see what I pulled this fish out of. Right there, all of that, all of that, all those tree limbs. I mean, it was he was hung up in there, but I got him out of there. And there are probably some more in there too. Another tough day out on the water. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, and hit that like button. Also, leave some comments. Uh, like I say, I'm working hard to get you some good content, so please subscribe. I like to grow this channel. Thank you.